Hello there, Mrs. Williams. Hello. Hi. Hi, my name's Dr. Mishra. I'm one of the psychiatrists that work here in the uh, on the ward. Thank um, you for seeing me. No, no problem. I've got some uh, obviously some uh, some information about um, your mother, Mrs. Uh, Rose Williams. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to to hear about um, about what's been happening with her. It sounds like you your whole family, you and your your family, have had a very difficult yeah, time. Yeah, it's been quite tough managing her. So um, I'm here today really just to talk about um, her diagnosis and then just mm -hmm. talk about her um, the ongoing plan in terms of. And how we're going to look after her, really. Yes, thank um, you. So I think I think from the information I've got that um, I understand that um, uh, your mum has been diagnosed with a, a, a condition called Alzheimer's mm. dementia. Yeah, the doctor on the ward said okay. that. Okay, um, I was just wondering if, if I mean, it had. Um, I was just wondering if we could just explore your understanding of what that condition is. is it? Yeah, well, I've heard of it, but I don't really know exactly what it is. Um, I see. Okay. As opposed to other dementias. Okay. Um, well, maybe it'd be useful if I uh, just give, give you a sort of brief mm. outline of, of what it is. Yes, isn't it? Um, so, as you as, as as you said, there are a number of a number of dementias, of which Alzheimer's is, is one um, form of dementia. Yeah. Um, and dementia is 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 a is a is a sort of um, umbrella term where where we notice problems in memory and 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 mm. what we call a sort of global loss in in functioning. So people's just ability to wash themselves, look after themselves, yeah, um, yeah. you know, become affected and obviously that's um, what we've noticed with um, with Mrs Williams and, and in terms of Alzheimer's dementia, um, if we, if you sort of imagine the brain as a, as a collection of wires and those wires um, communicate to each other uh, through chemicals on the ends of those wires, Okay. Um, in Alzheimer's dementia, there's a breakdown in uh, in one of the chemicals uh, that doesn't allow the, then these wires to communicate to each right. other, okay. and that's led then led to the the the, the symptoms that, that your your mum is suffering with basically. So so one of our aims with with medication certainly is to try and prevent the breakdown of that of one of these chemicals. To try and prolong the um, okay. you know, your, your 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 mother's. So there um, are treatments available. Yeah, there there are there, there are certainly um, a, a number of treatments available. Medications would be the, one of the ones that I'd like to talk to you about mm. um, today. Yeah. So um, so one of the the, the medication uh, the main medication that we use is a medication called uh, dinepazil. So I'll I'll give you the I'll give you an information about that. Yeah, yes, please. Uh, I won't remember that. No, no, sure, but um, <laughs> but uh, but um, but the the name of it is, is dinepazil, and as I said. The aim of that medication is to try and prevent the the breakdown of this chemical um, to try and prolong um, well, uh, your okay, your, 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 mom, yeah, your, your mum's memory and, and, and sort of um, her, her, her level of functioning. And I said it's not a it's not a complete cure, uh, but we do know that patients who um, have started on it, uh, about half of them do show um, some kind of response in the next oh, really? six to six to twelve months. So well, that's we, good. yeah, so so we'd at least wanted to to. To trial her on it, mm. um, there are there can be side effects to to the medication. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. Okay, yeah. So so the most common side effects are what we call um, just just side effects that that can affect the stomach. So we use the term sort of gastrointestinal side okay. effects, um, and these can these are common things are sort of nausea and and, and, and and vomiting occasionally. So so we need to be very careful when when starting your mother on these medications because mm -hmm. if we're finding that she is quite nauseous and her appetite is getting affected. Yeah, she's already quite frail. Right, yeah, so we wouldn't want her to lose any any weight. Mm. Or, and so we may look at actually just stopping the medication if we're finding uh, she's getting more um, physically unwell with okay. it. One of the other side effects that can occur with um, with this medication is that it can slow the heart rate down. Um, uh, uh, so one of the things that we need to be doing is uh, a tracing of her heart okay. just before we start the medication and then we'll continue to monitor her, her heart rate with these tracings as she's started on the medication mm -hmm. just to make sure that that, um, that she's not exposed to, to that kind of side effect. Okay, really. does, that's that, good. does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. that okay. does. Um, but um, so those are, those would be the, the the main things, and as I said, once once she started on the medication, then would be um, inviting both yourself and, and your mum back to, um, to to the, to a memory clinic, and just seeing how how she's been um, responding to to that medication. Mm -hmm. And if we're finding actually that there's been you know a slower deterioration in her memory. Um, then we'll, uh, our plan will be just to, to keep her on it, and you know, for the okay. for the amount of time we feel it's um, beneficial for. And if she responds well to it, will it make her like she was before? Um, 
<laughs> Unfortunately, with with dementia, it's um it's a, a progr- it's a progressively worsening illness. Okay. Um, so um, it's a it's um I'm afraid to have to tell you that in terms of a um, mm. an Ill- illness perspective. So it, it won't make her like she was before. Yeah. But um, but what it can do is is try and keep her as she is at the moment for as long as we we possibly can. I understand. Um, were there any other any other questions that you that you had? Um, you... Yeah, I brought a list in with me. Okay. Um, so I was wondering how the treatment worked because um, I've heard that one of the treatments is made of daffodil oil, and that to me doesn't sound very safe. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, yeah, so so there's a there outside of the the medication dinepazil that I'd I'd mentioned. There's a medication called uh, galantamine. Again, don't need to worry too much about the name, but it's one of the other treatments that we could use. Okay. Um, that works on again another chemical that we that um, we um, can we know that can affect uh, memory in this case. Right. Uh, and a component of that um, medication is, does come from daffodil oil. Okay. Okay, but what I want to reassure you with with any of the medications that we um, are trying. Um, you know, a prescribing for your mother. We follow national guidelines, evidence-based guidelines okay, that's to, reassuring. yeah, to make sure that these are, are are safe and have some kind of therapeutic yeah. effect. Okay. okay. Um, was there any, anything else um, at all? Do you know how long she'll need these treatments for? Um, as I said, I think it's it's really just dependent on on if we feel that she's responding to it, then we'll, okay. we'll continue to to. So you just see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. And outside of medication, I mean, there are. Um, it's not just medication that we'd be looking at to help help mm. him, um, help uh, Mrs. Williams. We, as she's on the ward, she'll be seen by a specialist dementia nurse. Um, okay. And then she'd also be we'd also be looking at allocating it to a community mental health team, oh, uh, that's and so nice. things like day centres. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, a speci- like all yeah that. and a specialist dementia nurse can can help. So we've only had a limited amount of time today, so I'll, I'll give you some information. Okay, thank you. And we'll, we'll book at another time. That's brilliant. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome.